Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the impossible A optical illusion. We're going to click over here on the rectangle tool and go to the polygon tool. We click and hold, give one click and we'll make a polygon that has three sides and 150 points. Press OK. Now let's just make this a bit more narrow like an A and maybe a bit larger like so. We'll draw a line from this anchor point to this anchor point here. Then press Control Shift M or Command Shift M if you're on the Mac. And we'll move it by minus 20 points, which will be the thickness of these lines here. So then move it to the left and vertically by zero points, like so. Press Copy and then Control D to repeat that command. Then we'll select both lines that we created and press O, which is our Reflect tool, and click at the top of the triangle. Then click on our line, hold Shift and Alt, and that'll duplicate our shape and reflect it. Now we draw a straight line from this intersecting point to this intersection. And then we'll draw a couple more straight lines somewhere near the middle. That, press Control Shift M with the line selected and we'll move it by the same distance that we moved it right here. So in this case, horizontally with zero, but vertically by 20 points. Press Copy and Control D, do it again. We draw another line from this point to here and we copy that line, press Alt, and we move it so it intersects with the line down here and with the shape right there. Then we draw a straight line from here to here. And once again, we draw a straight line from this anchor point to that anchor point like that. And with that point selected, we're just gonna press S, which is our scale tool just make it a bit longer so it goes outside of the shape. This is just to prevent some clipping errors that happen in the next step. We select our line right there, press O once more, and click at the top of the triangle. And we're gonna rotate to the other side, reflect to the other side by pressing Alt and Shift until it snaps to that position over there. Now we're gonna select our entire shape and go to our Pathfinder tools and press Divide. And we see these lines, they disappear. Let's right click on our shape, go on group, and we can start deleting some shapes. So we'll delete this right here, we'll delete this point right here, and we'll delete this one and that one right there. Now we're going to select our entire shape, and using this image here as a reference, we're going to click on the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to click and drag, and wherever we drag, that becomes one whole shape. So if I let go now, that's all one shape and then we move down to here to combine that shape. Same goes for here. Make this into one and connect it this way, like so. Then this way up, this to here, and this to here, and this becomes one shape. Now, if I select this shape right here and I press the eyedropper tool, you see it acquires that color right there. And I can apply it to this point and this point and the same deal with here. And now, you've basically made your impossible A. So it's not that impossible. Anyone can do it once you know how to. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more, make sure to check out our other videos. If you have any questions, suggestions, or future uh, tutorial preferences, please write them in the comments below. Hit the like button. And of course, as always, have a great day.